your opium. So, Mark, I'm going to go over some of the features on the brand new 2015 Jeep Renegade with you. Okay. Come on over here. So, in 2009, the majority of Chrysler was purchased by a company called Fiat, a European automaker. In about what, 2011, they purchased all of Chrysler. Jeep came out with the Renegade last year, and it is currently the only Jeep manufactured in Italy alongside the Fiat 500 LX models. There's a couple of cues you'll see in the Renegade that you won't see in any of the other Jeep lineup, but some things that grow together from our, our European heritage and, and father family now, I guess you could say. But, <laughs> you know what, fuck me, buddy. <laughs> I'm going to start first here at the engine. We have a 2.4 liter multi-air four-cylinder engine. You probably think, oh, this has been around for a little while. We have had a 2.4 liter for some time in our cars. But this, the multi-air, is essentially brand new. It's 90% new components that make up this new engine. What does that mean? What does that do? A bunch of mumbo jumbo that I'll get into a little bit later. Okay. <laughs> Great answer, jumbo. Essentially, what it means to you, though, is it reduces the road noise and the vibration of the engine, as well as increasing fuel economy and power and torque. Horsepower and torque. Are there farms around here? Yeah, we're in Avonshire. Okay, I just <laughs> smelling some. <laughs> Okay, you're on Okay. Well, since, since you seem like one of those simple folk, <laughs> I'm going to point out the simple things about this apartment. Everything you'll ever have to worry about, Mark, is marked in yellow, greatly enough. If anything else goes wrong, please don't touch it. I, <laughs> I don't want a phone call, just go to service. <laughs> Leave it be. Also, in case of a fire ever, which, you know, who knows with you. <laughs> Especially in this compartment. This little fire retarded blanket, these latches will melt off. It will smother the engine. Did you say fire retarded? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, this will prevent that from catching on fire and going everywhere. I'm not going to close this up because, well, yeah, you don't really care about that. <laughs> oh, come on over here with me. Yes. Come back here. You'll see that we still do have the traditional seven slot Jeep badging in the front end that really sets it apart from anything else in the market. I'm driving down the road, no matter whether it's a, a Wrangler, a Renegade, a Cherokee, Grand Cherokee, people are going to know what you're driving and it's a very respectable vehicle. Come on over here, Mark. So this particular trim level that was pulled up is the limited trim. This is one of our top line features that I'm gonna show you as we go throughout the vehicle. We do have polished aluminum 18 inch rims. Going up to the vehicle, oh, four wheel annual lock disc brakes all around too. We're stopping, I know you have a hard time hitting the brakes sometimes. <laughs> Is yeah. <laughs> are you sure those are 18? Can you just check that for me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that looks like a small 18. That's an 18. <laughs> what is wrong here? I don't have my glasses on. It's 225, 55, R18. What? Yeah, and you're wheel. Does that look like 18, anybody? It's beautiful. Well, okay. that's neither I here nor there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's right there. I didn't know I was listening. <laughs> okay, seeing as you have coffee in your hands. Yes. You don't really like to, to use your hands all that much and you know you like to be very mobile, which I do as well. One thing that I really like about these new renegades is everything is completely keyless. So right now I'm gonna walk So you got your kids, you got a few kids right now. Great guys. You got some poor March in here. You got your hands full of groceries. You know everyone's causing you havoc. You put your hand in the door, open it up, and away you go. Believe it or not, last week, an older fellow came up to me and said, I just bought this new car, 
I went home nine o'clock at night, locked the doors, went downstairs, opened the door and it was open. How does that work? How, how is the car being kept being open? Like, uh, first of all, I'm gonna explain to you how this works. And the guy was thoroughly amazed. And he was so pleased with what he found out. And truly, it's, it's such a convenience. Uh, hop on in there quickly, Mark. Okay, I'll put my coffee up here. We're gonna continue the convenience inside. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's getting hard to get in there. Okay. Well, the nice thing about that, Mark, yes. is you do have a power adjustable seat, as well as an adjustable tilt and telescopic steering wheel. Thank you, yes. To make it as comfortable as possible as my customer. Hey, bye. Oh, never mind. <laughs> 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 so, more or less, Mark, I just wanted to show you the ease of getting in and out of the pa or the driver's seat and the convenience of the power seat and the tilt and telescopic steering wheel. I'm going to come on out here. I want to tell you a couple more things about okay, the Renegade that you might not know. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. So one of the, the new great things about the Jeep Renegade is it's actually the interior volume. In this segment, the Jeep Renegade gives you the most interior volume. So although this is a very maneuverable vehicle, very tiny, which I remember, I was getting out of that. <laughs> hey, you're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> okay. After many trials. The suitcase? Pete the delivery? No, this is for the roof. Yes. Which we'll go over after. So one of the really cool things that I enjoyed about the Renegade when I first heard about it is, you know, I'm into, you know, mountain bike, snowboard, Golf. As you can see here, some people think, well, you know, I'd like a little bit more room than that. If you wonder where the spare tire is, well, it's not there. We've got a retractable floor to get you quite a bit more room. You could fit four suitcases in there, no issues at all, with all the passengers, the seats up, five people. <clears throat> as small as this vehicle might seem like i said the interior capacity is what really sets it apart to the market and what will differentiate this from any other vehicle on the road which is to me of course a big deal especially being an outdoorsy type of guy and i know how much you like to build you know yep. little gadgets and you're always going to the, Put a sheet the of lumber in yard there. oh i don't know about a piece of plywood but Pull it behind. <laughs> they hop into the passenger seat. Okay. Mark. What are you doing? Yeah. Watch out, Pat. <laughs> oh, sorry, Ian. <laughs> okay, I'm going to demonstrate more of the keyless. So, put on the brake, key in the cup holder in your pocket or purse, you hit the button, it's like magic. I've been called Harry Potter more than once, it's not true, Mark, I've not gone to Hogwarts. This is just new technology. Okay. Uh, <laughs> another massive feature, of course, when you think about G, you think about 4x4 off-road capability. So what sets, again, the Renegade apart from the other competitors is our 4x4 system and its capability to go off-road when necessary. We have an all-time 4x4 system. And if you take a look down here, Mark, yes. we have a few different options here. An auto, a snow, a sand, and a mud. As you go through the different features, 
based off which train you're on. Yes. The electronic stability control will change along with the gear ratio and the way the vehicle monitors and, and moves forward to best accommodate you on each train. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't understand why that's funny. <laughs> okay. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> Is this a front wheel or rear wheel drive? It's front wheel drive. Okay. Yeah. One cool thing, too. So, I don't know if you've ever heard of this the My Sky system, Mark. No, I haven't. So, as you can see, we have a fully retractable but as well, removable roof. Okay. So it acts just like a sunroof, but these two panels can actually come right off. Well, I'm not gonna do it for you right now, because it takes some tools and a little bit of time, but later on we can go over that and I can demonstrate it for you before you take off. Well, right now, Mark, it is how cold outside. It's pretty cold. Doesn't exactly tell me. But what I do know is <laughs> I'm a little chilly sitting here in this chair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the heated seat on. Yes. We've also got a heated steering wheel. Okay. And we have remote start. So even in our torrential weather here in the winter in British Columbia, on your way to work, you're able to get your car warmed up at five degrees or under, when you hit the remote start, it'll automatically turn the heated seats and the heated steering wheel on. So when you're inside your house, you're about to leave work, you're just brewing up your fresh cup of coffee, you can hit the remote start to get everything going for you before you hit the road. Okay. And your life's just gonna be made that much easier. Going through, we have a, a USB port here. Uh, okay. I know you got a lot of CDs. Yeah, cassettes. Sorry that you know this vehicle isn't equipped with a CD player anymore. That's kind of gone like the dinosaur. But what we can do is download your your CDs onto a USB drive and hold a lot more department or a lot more music, a lot more CDs, and you have access to it a lot more. So that's something I can also help you out with, Mark, at a large fee, no problem as well as another uh, remote USB port and an auxiliary there. So you can plug in your phone. Okay. And then 12 volt, you know, for the cigarettes you like to smoke. You know. Red lighter. As Mark's guardian, I have a question for you because sure. he obviously is incapacitated and can't answer and make a decision. Distract competition. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> Fingers? Oh. oh shit. Nissan Juke? The uh the juke? Yeah. <laughs> they say the Cooper, but <laughs> no, it's no, it's, it's a different one. Yeah, it's not. What do you guys think? The Cooper's like a comparison. What do you think? <laughs> 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 Kept you definitely intrigued. I would say hey, you, you used your humor to dodge a couple questions. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, I think that you did a pretty good job. I'd rate you a seven out of ten. What's what do that? you think, Mark? <laughs> Mark, <laughs> no. I'd give him a strong four. <laughs> well, that's what Amir got. <laughs> <laughs> hey, weird, Amir's not here anymore. What's, what's the towing capability of this vehicle? Uh, properly equipped 2,000 pounds, which is the highest in the segment as well. Okay. What else? What do you rank him, Graham? Six. He was a hard on being modest. Swell? If I could hear a little better, 
Alright, say seven. I just didn't hear any horsepower torque or anything. Oh, okay. 180. Pat? Four and a half. Then. Six and a half. What do you think, guys? Yeah, seven. seven. One, two, eight. Keep it humor, guys. Keep keep eye contact. This is the difference between a good salesman and a bad salesman. 80% of the car industry does not do a walk around. 80% of the car industry. They throw them the keys, send them on their drive, don't go with them, get them back and hope to hell that they can get them to paper. That is not what we do here. Where this is part of our process and we're gonna do it every single time. Correct? <coughs> so let's make sure that we're, I learned something today, Ian. I really enjoyed your walk around because you is because of your humor. Good job of stepping up to the plate. Let's have some fun today, guys. Okay? So Let's get a deal on the board early. Cut that out of my face. <laughs> <laughs>